So Glen Allen is one of the places that we saw some significant damage. And right now we want to talk to a person who survived uh, some of the tornadoes and some of the storms that moved through. Uh, her name is Lori uh, Yant. Lori, thanks so much for joining us via phone. Uh, hopefully I pronounced your last name correctly. I apologize if, if I didn't there. But Lori, how are you this morning? How are you doing? Oh, we're we're doing pretty well under the circumstances. Um, there's a lot of shock in the community. You know, it's it's one of those things you just never really expect. Uh, the so I about half a mile from my house, my church was affected. Uh, it, it's going to be a total worry about the building. Thankfully, everybody in our congregation is okay. But a lot of people in the surrounding area, there's been multiple deaths. Uh, there's been several that are still missing. They found a few and. Most of the ones they have found have, have not been living, unfortunately. Mm. You know, talk to me about what had happened in, in the overnight hours. Did you hear tornado sirens go off? Were you awoken by, I mean, the sound of the winds or the thunder? Glen Allen is a very rural area, and there were some sirens that went off towards town, but I live in more of the remote area of Glen Allen. But it was where I was at, even though I was just half a mile from where the damage was, it was stone cold silent. Mm. There, it was just very eerie. You could hear rumbling in the distance. There was a lot of lightning, but it just was unreal. It was a scary, spooky silence. You know, I know that this has been an ongoing threat that we have been seeing not only across the South, but now, you know, in the Central Plains as well as the Midwest. Uh, I mean, what is your initial reaction to all of this happening? I mean, is it mind bog boggling? I mean, do you think that, I mean, this is just, you know, what we just tend to see during the springtime? So, you know, you kind of expected it? I think the, I mean, this time of year, especially in this area, I mean, I think we somewhat expect it, but not to this degree. My main concern at this point is just everybody that has had losses, uh, whether it be their stuff or their family. Uh, there's been a lot of deaths here locally. So my main concern at the moment is the, the people, the community. Yeah, my condolences. I mean, you know, unfortunately, you know, this uh, does happen, you know, with storms, you know, they move through, especially in the overnight hours. And, you know, this is why, you know, we always say, you know, at least make sure that you have multiple ways of getting uh, those alerts there. Um, you know, I, I know that you talked about some of the loss um, that was associated with some of the storms, but you know, how are other people in the community doing? I mean, are they still in shock or are just people just taking it in stride? Well, you, it's in so much destruction. There's so much beauty. It, it's terrible to say that, but you see how really close knit this community is. There's people who are, you know, not affiliated with any of the local health departments, like whether it be the fire department, police department. All of the locals are just pitching in and looking for people. My husband was one of them. We just, you know, we got out and looking for people who are missing and. That's, that's a lot of what we're seeing. I, I think there's a lot of initial shock, but a lot of people have jumped into gear, too, and trying to help those who were less fortunate. And, Lori, for the people who are watching and listening, what do you need the most help with right now, and, and how can they help? I would say at the moment, I, I know there, there's still several people missing, so probably people for search and rescue, and I know that there's a lot of destruction so clearing debris clearing roadways um even getting to town i mean there's per certain parts of town we can't access because it's, it's blocked off due to debris in the road or trees down mm. all right well Lori, definitely our thoughts and prayers are with you and you know i think the best piece of advice i have for you is you're definitely going to get through this your town is definitely going to get through this but please express our heartfelt condolences to the folks who were impacted in your community i certainly will all right, thanks so much there. Good luck. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.